only thing I'm bummed about is the fact that we got coronavirus going around. So, like, we got to wear these masks. So, ain't nobody finna see my luscious lip. Well, I mean, you guys are because, you know, <laughs> I'll put it off of you. But <laughs> everything else, nobody's gonna see. My new lip glosses and lipsticks that I, I bought. <laughs> What's up, girls? Welcome back to my channel. It's Wit here again with another video. So today I'm going to be doing my long-awaited review on the new Juvia's Place, their new lip collections. But before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe. If you're not yet subscribed, like the video, comment down below, follow me on Instagram. You know the, the usual spiel that I give at the end of every video. Um, well, since that's out of the way now, let's go ahead and get started. If you guys only care about the swatches, which I know some people don't want to hear me speak, then I'm gonna leave you a timestamp to skip to the swatches. But if, you know, you wanna hear me talk, well, just keep on watching. So, Juvia's Place released some new lipsticks, some new glosses, and some lip liners, which I'm here for. And they release all like nudie type of colors and different variations, so it can complement different skin tones. But yet again, you are not limited to a certain color just because of your skin tone. Now, I'm not on Juvie's Place's PR team, so I didn't get every single thing because I already know that I was not gonna use every single thing. So I got the stuff that I know for sure that I will actually use. And there's still some more stuff that I keep seeing that I kinda want, but yeah. So I got me four of the lip glosses. I got five of the lipsticks and I just got me one lip liner because I knew that this was the only lip liner that they had I was going to use. You guys know I love using me a nice brown lip liner and literally this is all I use. I never play with any other colors to be honest so there was no point in buying the other ones. So let's talk about these lipsticks. First and foremost they're super inexpensive. They're not too crazy priced but it can seem a little pricey when you want to buy more than one but it's not that bad. So the lip liner is gonna cost $10. Their lip glosses run you um, $13 and then their lipsticks run you $14. So let's start off with the lip liner. So they claim that this liner is a long way pencil that blends seamlessly to the eye and fill in the lips. It is perfect for use with Juvia's Place Velvety Matte Lipsticks and Lip Glosses. Let me just say, the lip liner is nice. I love the color and everything. I'm personally not a fan of retractable liners. I would have preferred if they would have came out with the lip liners like a pencil so you can sharpen it. But the retractable isn't too bad itself. This is what it looks like. Let me see how much product you get in here because you know, this is what I'm paying for. So you get this much product. That isn't too terrible. I mean, you're only paying $10. If I was paying more, I would be pissed, but that isn't too bad. And then the lipsticks. So these are a hydrating velvety matte um, lipstick. And let me just say they do go on nice and matte. I had no issues getting this on and it does not feel drying like a liquid lipstick would be. So I like this. It, the formula kind of is reminiscent of the Huda Beauty her lips and if you like that but not that price point I would highly suggest you trying these out because it really is reminiscent of that and the the packaging is to die for can we talk about this like this is so cute it's like a, a pink ombre the formula is beautiful beautiful I love it my favorite color of them all would be lady and that's what I have on my lips so I have on their lip liner and I have lady on which Lady looks like this is just the most beautiful, beautiful like nude color ever. This is a part of their nude chocolate between Lady and the shade Libra, favorite. And then I just have it topped over with their gloss in the color, what color was it? Sis. And then I got four of their lip glosses. Let me tell you guys about their lip glosses, okay? Cause that's, that's what I was excited about. Cause I love me a nice lip gloss. Their lip glosses are like, Perfect. Everything that they claim their lip gloss is supposed to do, it does. It's not sticky. It's definitely high shine. And I love that it has enough pigment without being too much. Because sometimes lip glosses will have too much pigment. It's like, that's no longer a lip gloss. That's like a lacquer. And then there's lip glosses that are like, just a little too sheer. And it's like, okay, I just put a, a little bit more pigment in there. So this is perfect. Like their glosses are gorgeous oh my gosh like i love it and it's not sticky at all like it feels like what everyone would want a lip gloss i feel like i can do this but no problem like i hate when it's just it's too heavy like <sighs> and then i love the big applicator oh my gosh i do want to buy two more colors 
the more and more I've been seeing like pictures, I was like, dang, I should have got those. I want to buy that one pinky color and then the last nude one that I didn't get, which is the Caramel Rose. My gosh, like after trying this out, I think I might have to go place me another order because I want it. And then the color that I didn't care too much for was this one right here. This is barely there. Now, when I say I didn't care too much for it, it's more so in the sense of I would never wear it on its own. I feel like every other lip gloss here I can wear without anything on. This is something that I, I have to pair with something else. Now, if you are lighter than me, you would probably love this on its own. But my skin tone and darker, I don't know about that. But yeah, there's not really much to say other than I like the entire collection. I love that they I love that they start off with nudes first. Something that people would actually wear, you know, because a lot of times people release all these lipsticks and it'd be these reds, pinks, purples, which is cool, it's cute, but like, let's be honest, most people usually end up wearing some type of nude color. So I love the fact that they just did everything nude first. They started us off right, and you know, we can continue on. Let's see what else you're gonna come out with. So, yeah, the only thing I'm bummed about is the fact that we got coronavirus going around, so like, we gotta wear these masks. So, anybody gonna see my luscious lip? Well, I mean, you guys are because, you know. <laughs> I'll put it on for you, but uh, everything else nobody's gonna see. My new lip glosses and lipsticks that I, I bought. <laughs> I would definitely recommend you guys trying this stuff out. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the lip swatches and then we're gonna wrap this video up. All right, you guys, so that is the lip swatches. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just really short, simple, sweet to the point. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna take your time. Watch the entire video. Watch it, dang, I sat there and edited it and filmed it. Please can you watch the whole video? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.